Hey everyone and welcome to WDIM Plus, where today I'm doing something a bit different and explaining what I think is the one villainous scene from Breaking Bad that shows just how evil Walter White really is. I am creating this video because for one, Breaking Bad is one of my favorite series ever made, but also because the channel Nano V Movies has put out a call to any creator to make a video like this to coincide with the release of a film that is all about villains, James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. This video will be featured on a playlist alongside some of my favorite creators, so I encourage you to check that out, and I will link it at the end of this video and in the description. But for my video, I decided to look at one of the most villainous characters of all time, and that is the infamous Heisenberg, better known as Walter White and played by Brian Cranston. If this is your first time here on the channel, my name is Eric, and this is one of two channels where I discuss the stories and characters I love, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell if you enjoy this video. If you have watched Breaking Bad, you know that there are many, many scenes that show what Walter White is willing to do to achieve his goals and satisfy his hubris, but there is one scene in particular that I think really accentuates how this character is beyond redemption, and that takes place in the second season episode, Phoenix. The scene I'm going to discuss is the one in which Walt allows Jesse's girlfriend Jane to die in front of him when he has a chance to save her life. The episode starts with Walt missing the birth of his daughter in order to complete a drug deal. You are probably thinking to yourself that this scene is bad enough, but the list of diabolical things that this character has done is long and distinguished. But this scene does emphasize how Walt's business is now more important to him than his family as he is willing to sacrifice witnessing the birth of his child to make a deal with a drug dealer. Walt has been trying to make this deal for some time and was in a desperate situation, having already lost a lot of money and been witness to or been the assailant of multiple murders since first cooking this meth. Once he is able to make the deal, he rushes to the hospital to see his wife and daughter there with another man in the room and barely reacts all the while thinking about the money he made. Upon returning, he gets a call from Jesse and allows him to believe that the meth has been stolen since Jesse did not wake up when Walt broke into his apartment to get it, which was shown in the prior episode. Eventually, Jesse figures out that it was Walt that broke in and confronts him at work in order to receive his share of the deal. Walt refuses and says that he is holding on to the money until Jesse can get clean and if he gave it to him, Jesse would end up using it on drugs until he killed himself. Now while this may be a noble idea, I don't really think Walt cared as much about Jesse as he did about Jane. Since Jane had entered Jesse's life, it was obvious that Walt was starting to lose some of the control that he had gained over Jesse. Jesse was not as interested in their business anymore and wanted to be with Jane more than he wanted to have anything to do with Walt. So Walt knew that if he gave Jesse this money, that he would never see him again, but not necessarily because Jesse would kill himself, just because now Jesse would be able to live on his own with Jane. Throughout the run of Breaking Bad, there are multiple instances when Walt tries to control Jesse's actions and becomes jealous of him. In fact, he may be jealous of the fact that Jesse is able to drop everything and run away if he wants to since Walt is in a very different situation in a structured family life. Walt's issues with his family life are further exacerbated when not only Walt reveals his diagnosis to his family, but when he fakes a mental break in order to cover up him being abducted at the beginning of the second season. Once Jesse gets this money, he will have all the things Walt does not have. Youth, a woman he is in love with, and the opportunity to go and do whatever he wants. What's interesting is that Jane actually brings this up to Jesse later in the episode, further underlying how valuable this freedom is. When Jesse lashes out at Walt and throws a glass beaker against the wall, this is another sign of how much Jesse has changed, as in the past, Jesse has almost shown to be sympathetic of Walt's condition, especially since Jesse took care of his aunt who also had cancer. To further push Walt over the edge, when he returns home, he finds out that his son Walter Jr. has created a website that asks for money for him. Walt cannot reconcile in his mind the fact that he has half a million dollars after this deal, but that he not only can't share this with his family, but they believe he needs charity. Even when Saul Goodman explains to him that this website will actually allow him to launder the money he just received through it, Walt is still resentful and does not want to go through with the idea at first. This is because to him, earning the money isn't enough. He wants people to know he earned the money, which is a really popular trait for most villains. This is another reason why he can't accept charity, because taking an anonymous donation for help is literally the opposite of everything he wants. But the scene in question is really put into motion once Jane learns how much Walt owes Jesse. When she realizes that with this money she can start a new life, she takes a more controlling position in Jesse's life and propels him to confront Walt. Her attitude becomes even more aggressive and desperate when her father Q realizes that Jane is off the wagon and shacking up with Jesse and threatens to send her to rehab. In a way, Jane's father has much the same control that Walt does over Jesse, but in her father's case, he believes that he is doing it for her best interest. 
as this episode proves what Walt does in regard to Jesse or anyone else is in Walt's best interest. Jane then threatens Walt with the information about his career as Heisenberg unless he gives Jesse the money he is owed. While him half a million dollars is a lot of money, this battle is really for control over Jesse and not so much the money. Since eventually, Walt does give Jesse the money, and even if things would not have gone down in this way, Jesse would have eventually gotten the money he was owed. But again, it is important for it to be on Walt's terms, because to him, controlling Jesse is very, very important to him. As long as there was not another person vying for control of Jesse, Walt would not have cared about holding on to the money. Now, some would say that Walt holding on to the money is payback for missing the birth of his child because of Jesse being high on heroin, but I don't believe Walt cared enough about missing the birth to act like this. If anything, not telling Jesse about the deal being made and having him think that the meth had been stolen was good enough for Walt. Even when Walt gets to the hospital, he can't wait to cut out and look at his money, and later when he is holding Holly, his infant daughter, he shows her the money because she is the only one he can brag to. Instead of just looking down at his new baby, like most dads do when they have a child, he instead turns her focus to what he has achieved because really that is what is important to him. Eventually, Jane is able to get Walt to give her the money. By taking the money from Walt in front of Jesse, she is essentially taking the final step in assuming control. At this point, Walt has given up on Jesse because he is so afraid of losing his business if Jane reveals to the world who he really is. He wants to control Jesse and probably does not want to see him die of a drug overdose, but Walt makes a calculated decision about what benefits him the most and decides that losing Jesse is better than losing his business. This proves the cold nature of his persona and this will further be exemplified later in the episode. Walt then goes to a bar instead of going home and ends up talking to Jane's father Q. I love this scene because you have two characters who basically want the same thing, to control a person they feel responsible for. Jane's father truly wants to do right by her, and even though Walt seems to lament about his relationship with Jesse as if he is a caring father figure, in reality he just wants to exude his control. He even mentions to Jane's father how he wishes Jesse would just do what he told him to do. Walt is not a person who cares about another person's well-being, he just cannot give up the control over Jesse that he has built up. Because of this, after Walt finishes this faithful conversation, he returns back to Jesse's apartment, which brings us to the scene in question. When Walt returns, he finds that Jesse and Jane are in a drug-induced stupor and passed out. He tries to wake Jesse to no avail, and in doing this, Jane rolls on her back and starts convulsing. Instead of doing anything to save Jane, Walt allows her to asphyxiate on her own vomit and die. In a series with a lot of memorable scenes, this one still stands out for a lot of reasons. In fact, Brian Cranston has said that filming this scene was one of the most difficult for him of his entire career, and at one point, he shook actress Kristen Ritter awake because the scene was so traumatizing to him. If nothing else, this alone proves how diabolical this scene is, as Brian Cranston could not even stomach it, but Walter White did. Each second of this scene is important as at first you see Walter's instinct to help Jane get overruled by his cold calculated nature. He understands how this death will affect Jesse, as not only is this a woman he loves, but that he will be the one to find her dead. But in this moment, Walt is able to take a step back and understand that if Jane dies, then his problems are solved, and also that he may be able to sink his hooks into Jesse even deeper after this. So in a moment of complete clarity, Walt allows this young woman to die in front of him. A part of him knows how heinous this act is, as he can be seen holding back tears, but in the end, he is calm, cool, and resolved in his decision, like any good villain would be. The ramifications of this act further underscore its importance. Throughout the second season of Breaking Bad, there were hints to some event occurring at the White residence that involved some kind of violent incident. It turns out that because of Jane's death, and her father being an air traffic control person, a plane crash occurs almost directly above the White residence that kills hundreds of people. Furthermore, this would cause Jane's father to commit suicide, as well as affecting the lives of thousands in the area. Throughout the aftermath, Walt continually deflects any blame in the incident, but it does stay with him, and eventually he uses this knowledge to hurt Jesse after Jesse betrays him in the final season. Him telling Jesse about this act at that time shows that even Walt understands that this is the worst thing he has ever done. And as a true villain would, he uses this knowledge as brutal ammunition, holding onto it like a silver bullet until he needs to shoot it at the heart of the person it will affect the most, Jesse. For a man that accumulated many villainous acts in a short period of time, as the meth cooking, Nazi killing, child poisoning, alter ego Heisenberg, letting Jane die is the most villainous. Well that was my look at the most villainous act of Walter White in Breaking Bad, but let me know if I missed anything. Thank you very much for clicking on this video, please hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on What Did I Miss?